Hi, this is Mr. Moreno, and this is for past six, chapter 3.4, or surface, and this is the last, so I'm not even in the, you cannot even see me. I moved the camera. Anyways, this is the last one for chapter three. So, there are only two things in this video. One is metamorphism. Now, why that happens is kind of strange. It explains it to you on page 96 and 97, but you might not understand why just being deep underground causes more pressure or more heat. So I drew this guy right here, a very strong guy. And I don't know if you can see him. I'm sure you can. Anyways, he is holding up a rock. First, there's one rock. So at first it's easy, but if I put another bigger rock, it starts getting harder. He starts feeling pressure pushing down on him. Now, more and more rocks, eventually, if I put a million rocks on top of him, what will happen? He will get crushed and probably not survive. The same thing can happen to a rock. Here I have a little sedimentary rock, but as it gets deeper and deeper in the ground, there are more and more rocks on top of it. You can think of the earth as being on top of this little rock. And eventually, there's a point where it starts changing because it's already a rock. It's already pretty close together, but it starts changing into new rocks. And some of those new rocks that it can change to are Nist or Shizzle. I couldn't even pronounce it. But a very important metamorphic rock that they talk to you about on page 100 it's a rock that looks a little bit like this. And it causes something called foliation. Now foliation is very important because as we learned on chapter two, things cannot just break wherever they want. If I break a, like a rock or a phone, the, the place where it's breaking is not just random, it's breaking somewhere special, it's breaking along some boundary lines. So those boundary lines are important because what if you want to break something that is perfectly flat? Well, you need a rock that causes this, that has this foliation. And the reason for that is because if it has this foliation, it means I can cut it at this band. Foliation is when it creates bands like this, and it makes it easy for me to cut it like that. So if I want to make tiles, if I'm making tiles like, let me redirect the camera to the floor like those on the floor, they need to be flat, right? Nobody wants a bumpy house or a bumpy school. So we need the, this flat rock so we can cut it perfectly along those lines. And that's why foliation is important. Non-foliated rocks do not crystallize along bands, so those are more difficult to work with. And that's all. Bye.